Now to a fad that some people are taking to an extreme that's a really big rush. Teenagers competing to see who can take the most daring jump off high bridges and putting it all online. Our Yunji Denise has a closer look at why so many teens are plunging into dangerous waters. They are incredible jumps from outrageous heights. Teens taking death-defying dives, oh, even backflipping off of bridges. <laughs> All documented, then posted on YouTube, creating intense viral peer pressure. They're actually uh, videotaping it using their cell phones and uh, putting it on such thing as Facebook, uh, doing particular jumps, you know, trying to uh, outdo one another. Alejandro Albiar Carmona's videos have thousands of hits, showcasing him and his friends leaping from 70 feet, the equivalent of a seven-story building. You're not thinking of, oh my God, what's going to happen when I hit the ground, or I can't believe I'm doing this, or my mom's going to kill me. It's primarily just all about just feeling just a bit of freedom for that moment. But chasing that rush can be fatal. 19-year-old Wade McCurdy died after taking a 65-foot plunge off a bridge with a friend for fun. Even if you do survive, this is incredibly dangerous. Open or closed head injuries, broken bones, internal injuries, you name it. Underneath this water, you may encounter some brush, uh, fishing line, or trees or limbs. And even hitting the water can hurt. Just ask Jacqueline Clue. She hit the surface so hard, the blood vessels in her legs were instantly broken. She never plans to jump again. Neither does Albiar Carmona, though he still enjoys his online fame. It does, it's pretty exciting to know that uh, you know, a lot of people see that as quite adventurous. Adventure with some very risky results. For Good Morning America, Yanji Denise, ABC News, Johns Creek, Georgia.